Okay, we're going to look at how to measure properly and how to round. So um, when you're measuring, you should always be estimating one digit. So your whatever measurement you're, or whatever instrument you're measuring with, like a ruler, graduated cylinder, thermometer, whatever, um, it's going to have calibration markings. So that's like these little markings, sorry, these markings. Those are the calibration markings. So you always, um, if you're measuring something with a ruler, you know, you line it up at zero um, on the one end there, and then you check and see, okay, what is the, like, measurement? Where does this lie on the ruler? And you should always be estimating one digit. So you know for sure that it's somewhere between two and three, and you, in fact, know for sure it's somewhere between this 2.8 line and this 2.9 line, for sure. Then you have to estimate approximately how far between those two lines is it. So to me, I would say this is like 2.87 maybe. You might say 2.88, you might say 2.86. It doesn't really matter as long as we're close to one another and that we've both estimated um, at least, or we've estimated one digit. The other thing you need is your units. Now this ruler doesn't say it should tell you what it is, but we're going to assume it's centimeters, or I'll tell you it's centimeters. So you also have to have your units at the end. So cor the correct measurement for this object here is 2.87 centimeters. So here we have another object we're going to try to measure. So you just um, line the one end up at the zero mark, and then we're just going to try to guess where does this lie. And you can tell it's definitely somewhere between 4.2 and 4.3, somewhere between this line and this line. Um, how far is it? It's, it's, we're never going to be the exact same. So for me, I would say it's 4.22. You might say 4.21. Um, and then don't forget your units. I told you the ruler is in centimeters, so... Uh, centimeters, so 4.22, always estimating one digit. Here are graduated cylinder. Um, it's hard to tell in this little picture, but uh, you can see in the close-up view. When you're measuring using a graduated cylinder, you always measure at the meniscus. And the meniscus is this little sort of part of the bottom of the curve. Um, so you just check, like, where is that bottom of the curve? And then again, always estimating one digit. So to me, it looks like the bottom of the curve is somewhere between... Uh, always just check what your graduations are. So these are going up by one. So 41, 42, somewhere between 42 and 43 milliliters. Um, I would say it's like 42.9 maybe. Um, you might say it's 43.0, um, but you always have to estimate one digit. And then don't forget to have your units. So in this one, um, since the graduations are on the whole numbers, you're estimating to one digit, whereas the rulers, we were estimating the second decimal place. So always um, estimate one digit. Okay, and then we'll look at how to round properly. So when uh, the procedure for dropping off digits in a number is called rounding. When the first digit discarded is less than five, the last digit retained is left the same. So if we're trying to round this number here to three digits, you just count one, two, three, and then we're gonna cut the number off right here. So since the next number after where we're cutting it off, this four, is less than five, we keep the two on this side the same. So we round it to 14.2. Um, if the digit, the first digit that you're discarding is greater than five or equal to five, then you increase the last digit. So if we're rounding this one to three digits, so one, two, three, we cut the number off here. But since this digit is a six, which is greater than five, we have to round the three up. So we round this 3 to a 4, so it becomes 7.84. And this one we're giving the units of kilometers, so make sure we're including the units. 
and this one we run around to three digits. One, two, three. Cut the number off here. Since it's a five, we still have to round up. Becomes two, or sorry, four point two, and we round that one to a six. Four point two six, and our units are seconds. So we want to go through and round all of these to two significant figures. So you can um, just pause the video and give this a try on your own. And I'll go over this now. So make sure you pause the video and try it first. So we want to round all of them to two significant figures, which is essentially two digits. So one, two, cut the number off here. Since the next number is a three, we just keep it as an 8, so 7.8. 1, 2, the next number is a 7, so we do have to round it up. It becomes 4.7. 1, 2, our next digit is a 5, so we have to round up. It becomes 86. 1, 2, cut the number off there. Our next digit is a 5, so we have to round the 7 up to an 8. 6.8. 1, 2, Cut the number off there. The next number is a 6, so we have to round the 8 up to a 9. 9.9. 9. Um, 1, 2. Our next number is a 5, so we have to round the 7 up to an 8. 2.8. 1, 2. Cut the number off there, and we have to round the 8 up to a 9. 2.9. Nine. All right, you can work on your assignment now.